Oh my, this was ringing up a very scratchy 1920-21. Look at what I have here. Wow. Guess what? I think it's an arrowhead ring. Ouch. <laughs> it is sharp on the end. Sharp on the end. Come on. Come on. Come on. A vintage kids arrowhead. And I'm going to say that that is silver ring. Wow. Look at that thing. That is nice. Wow. That is an amazing find. Let me look for a marking inside. Well, I bent it open as much as I care to, and I'm not seeing any markings on it, but by golly, that just came out of the ground looking just so much like silver. I'm almost 99.9% .9 certain of it. So I'll take it home. I'll test it. I'll let you know. In the meantime, I'm going to call it Silver in the Hole here on Dirt Life Detecting. Gotta love it. This is the kind of stuff you find when you're in the oldest park in town. <laughs> yeah, not far at all from where I pulled out the uh, sil silver arrowhead ring, vintage arrowhead ring. All right, there's a nickel, and I'm just betting based on where I'm at and the depth that this is an older one. Could it be a buff? Could it be a V nickel? Let's find out. Or how about a wah, 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 Jefferson nickel? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Well, I never expected to find a silver coin here. The oldest park in town that's been beat up like nobody's business. I have found a few Indian heads, some Wheaties, some other interesting items, but here it is, silver coin. And it's going to be a Merc. Let me get it cleaned up and we'll look at the year. Well, here it is. It's a D mint mark, and I will tell you right now, it's an old one. Is it that elusive 1916D? No, not quite. It's the 1917D Mercury Dime. All right. Here at Dirt Life Detecting, when you find silver in the hole, guess what? Gotta love it. Well, I think I got a bucket lister here. I was digging a 1920-21 signal that ended up to be garbage, hoping that it was an Indian head penny. But look what came out of the hole. If this is what I think it is, I've definitely never found one of these. This park is old enough. Is this an old clay marble? It is completely round. And that's what it looks like, an old clay marble. I'm going to have to get home and kind of look it up. I have no idea, but I can't think of what else it might be. Let me know what you think in the comments. Dirt Life Detecting. Gotta love it. Given the way this was ringing up, it could be an Indian head penny. Of course, you never know. It's the same numbers as a Zincan, a Zinc penny. But this is looking better than a Zinc penny. Oh, yeah. Let's see here. I think I got one. Nice.
Oh no. Boy, it was a low ringing weedy. Wow, that was low ringing. All right, let me get it cleaned up. I can't tell for sure and I've rubbed it as much as I want to. I think it says 1919. I don't know why it was ringing up 19, 20, 21. I'll have to recheck the hole. But 1919 is your most common wheat penny in the teens. All right, let's keep going. All right, this was ringing up a deep wispy 11, 12. Of course, it was ringing up deeper because of its size. It wasn't as deep. Oh, cool. Nice. It's an old vintage button or pin or something with a neat design. All right, I'll take that every day of the week here on Dirt Life Detecting. Gotta love it. Here's a very early spring flower here in central Iowa. Wonder what kind that is. Have to have my wife tell me. We're in the oldest park in town. I thought it was a nickel. It was ringing up a solid 12 on my Equinox 600. It's not. It's going to be something that I never really find. Look at that. Vintage cufflink with what looks like gold wash on it. All right. Happy to have it. Uh-oh. Oh no, it fell apart on me. So I'll get you close up here. There we go, let's keep going. All right, bringing up a solid 12, 13 and pretty deep in the hole. Yeah, it was uh, all of eight inches deep. So nice on the Equinox 600, what is it? See if we can figure it out. What? An Indian head penny? That's odd. It was ringing up really low. Let me get it cleaned up and let's take a look at it. All right, nice. This is an 1890 Indian head penny. And like I said, it was really deep in the hole. I'll have to clean it up more when I get home and get you some more pictures of it. But, all right, deep 19th century in the hole here at Dirt Life Detecting. Guess what? Gotta love it. This was a really cruddy signal. It was a really high tone a little bit, and then, I mean, you know, 30-ish, 32-ish, and then it got all the way down to 20. There is something right there, and I think it might be good. <gasps> Guess what? It's a button. It's an old button. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Oh, there is still a bunch of gold gilt on it. Nice. Nice. Let me get it cleaned up a little bit for you here. All right, well, that's as cleaned up as I could get it here in the field. It says something about SU Home, and right there, Davenport, which I assume would be Davenport, Iowa, since I'm here in Iowa. That is a really, really nice old button. Happy to have it here on Dirt Life Detecting. Interesting old relics in the hole. Gotta love it. Well, this was ringing up a solid 12 on my Equinox 600. Whatever it is, looks like it's got some gold gilt on it maybe. I don't know. She's got a weird back to it. 
get it cleaned up a little bit for you. Well, is it an oddball cufflink? That might be what it is. What do you think? Comment below. I've never pulled a button with a back like that before, so I'm thinking cufflink.